What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here, not with Tower 3 and 4 videos, which have now been pushed back, because we have a content update uh, officially from the devs, and it's kind of important because they're making some changes. And while changes are very good and fresh and lively, something that's incredibly important that uh, everyone who's ever worked in game development would know is that while it's possible to buff and nerf certain things, uh, it's really important to make sure that in the process of doing so, you don't devalue anything that someone may or may not have spent money on based on the flow of the game itself as opposed to arbitrary opinions. For example, I hypothetically, if I went into a store and made a purchase uh, for a bottle of soda, and then I opened the bottle of soda and inside of it was apple juice. Uh, while I do love apple juice, uh, I didn't purchase apple juice. I wanted the soda, so I didn't get what I wanted and maybe I invested a little bit more than I should have or maybe I wouldn't have spent the money that I did spend in case. So the first thing I want to talk about before we go into that is that they have announced some of the new characters. We do finally have Anna. Olaf and the uh, visibility of Elsa in the game, which is great. Uh, of course, it is a day after your ability to buy Olaf and Sven, so you don't get to make an informed decision when you make the purchase of those two. You've missed the opportunity. Hopefully, they put those offers back up if the characters end up being beneficial. Uh, otherwise, I don't consider you missed out if uh, they hid some of the information before making a purchase, nor do I consider it uh, getting ahead of the uh, competition by spending the money, especially if the team ends up being a little lackluster, but we won't know that until we see everything. Uh, that said, they do seem to be farmable, uh, Olaf being in Grand Campaign 4L and Anna in Heroes 4D, replacing Hopper. Oh, and Villains Elite, great. Strange that they're starting to add hero characters to the Heroes nodes. Usually the Heroes nodes are where you farm villains and the Villains characters are where you farm heroes, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where the characters go, right? As long as you can work and progress. Uh, Premium Orb Exchange is getting Olaf and Anna. Uh, Monterey Jack has been removed from the tournament exchange and Anna was added there. Great. A whole bunch of opportunity to farm additional characters. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, that's not really the main point of it, but it is good to talk about things that they're changing in the full update as opposed to only focusing on one or two parts. This is kind of what we're going to talk about here. If you can read along, it says Devno. After careful review of spell effectiveness in battle, we found that a number of them were becoming far too much a determining factor in a battle's outcome than desired. Peanut Pummel. Uh, the intent of spells is to be complementary to a team strategy and not the runaway stars of the show. By making this change, we can better ensure that team strategies can be fully realized with opportunities for counterplay. I agree. I think that uh, this kind of information was super awesome when they did it when we were in the beta. I loved it. I loved the fact that the game was growing and live and we knew that it was in a very semi-malleable place where things could be updated and changed and they were taking feedback and making that stuff. But again, the beta was closed with a very limited number of people who kind of signed on with the information that they had, which was of course, things are subject to change based on just the growth of the game in beta. But once the game went global, this kind of balancing really should have been done before um, or after. Now, one of the biggest problems I think you may have recognized is that Peanut Pummel uh, or Blind itself has recently received a buff where it went from 30% chance to blind to 50% chance, uh, well, for a blind character to miss, etc., cetera, uh, which is coin flip, you know? And that's a huge buff, especially because Peanut Pummel went from being a very good spell that could help you succeed into a uh, pretty much ridiculously powerful spell that allowed you to punch up in fights you shouldn't have been able to, and more importantly, extended the game of the fight. So I think that Peanut Pummel wasn't necessarily bad uh, before, and then it was reworked and it became worse, and then... Now, maybe they're looking at a bunch of stuff. So let's take a quick look at uh, all of the good spells in the game and what they've done to them. Uh, the first is Splash Mountain. The changes is Splash Mountain now only reduces available magic charge on a random ability on the primary target instead of everybody. 
Fair, final upgrade affects all abilities on the primary target opponent only. Fair, debuff, extension, and damage still affects all opponents. Um, okay, cool. Maybe Splash Mountain was kind of a big deal. I think we all kind of read it. It was definitely one of the top spells in my top uh, spell list. But yeah, it was a little bit too powerful. And I think a lot of the times the spells kind of need to be more powerful since the teams aren't. Uh, but it can't be like there's always going to be a meta there's always going to be the best case scenario but if you really want uh, the teams to shine instead of the spells it's important that you design teams and spells to work together and allow the player base to either figure out something new or use the way it's intended so that splash mountain nerf it is a nerf it's not a change it's been nerfed um, the spell no longer does the effects it had so if you did have uh, any investment in Splash Mountain, or if you spent a lot of time working on Splash Mountain, it's worse than it was before. Uh, is that a necessary change? I don't know, but it was a change that was made, so uh, that's just where we are. Thunder Mountain Boom, uh, no longer charges while previous instances of effects are in play against any opponent character. Um, I think this is the kind of change that probably uh, all spells uh, that do something like that should have had I think that's an okay but again when you're changing it after an opportunity for players to have invested or spent time or even god forbid real life money on spells um, you're you're taking away what someone thought they were getting and that's not necessarily great immortal potion change to single target spell with aoe damage if hades is a teammate create copy of continuous damage on primary target uh, I don't believe that made it, uh, again, it is a nerf, but I don't think that truly hurt the spell. Um, I think it was maybe a little bit overpowered originally, and I think that it's a little bit more on par. It's kind of designed, of course, to be used with Hades as opposed to on its own, unlike Foul Play, which um, it, Foul Play didn't need Jafar. It was kind of cool when you did but foul play was one of the best spells in the game and it was worth buying because of its ability to well you know what let's talk about foul play because it's next foul play no longer affects taunt foul play is useless now i know a lot of people don't believe that or don't think that because it still does a lot of damage and it still does remove buffs um but foul play was the best among the best spells in the game uh, it was one of the best damage dealing spells no question and one of the beautiful things about foul play was foul play removed taunt that was the point of foul play uh the entire point of the spell was to remove taunt it doesn't matter they remove other buffs and anyone who didn't use it to uh remove taunt uh if there was taunt present uh, didn't use it correctly uh, the point of foul play was to get around someone protecting the team so that you can then progress was it overpowered you're damn right it was was that the reason you bought it? You're damn right there was. So this first line of text on foul play kind of discusses how ridiculous uh, a nerf it's received. It probably received one of the most heinous nerfs in this. And uh, will it still be usable? Yeah, sure, situationally. But not only does it make it worse in PvP style fights like PvP Arena or Sorcerer's Tournament, uh, it's actually significantly worse against PvE content now where you're trying to clear up tower or do any mission where you're punching up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, the uh, anyone who happened to get foul play, whether it be through the event or through spending money, I'm sorry. Uh, this hurt me too. So unfortunate, uh, and I would return it if I could. Uh, only purges and copies helpful effect from primary target and purges and copies X helpful effects instead of all. Still bad. If Jafar is on your team, he will automatically... Eh, more. That was always true. Uh, more Aladdin teammates increase the amount of helpful purge effects. I get it. And honestly, if this was the original version of the spell, I would definitely have reviewed it and said, this spell is absolutely great for the team, the same way that Simba's spell is great for Simba's team, and etc. But that's not what the spell was. So uh, nerfing at this level is incredibly huge. Uh, and... Uh, if you're upset about it, uh, I understand because I'm a little upset about it too. Uh, we have two more changes that are going to be addressed. The first is Blue Fairy Magic. Blue Fairy Magic now only affects a single character, therefore the spell is useless. 
Uh, I understand that according to the balance of the other spells, one of the reasons Blue Fairy Magic was so great was how it interacted with spells that worked there, but it also just worked with abilities and characters that would put uh, a great deal of debuffs. Um, and whatever the ability, uh, Wild Imagination, I believe was the name of the spell, was Blue Fairy Magic's job was to purge all of them. Um, so Blue Fairy Magic, or the reason to complete Tower 5, uh, and anyone who rushed to complete Tower 5 to get Blue Fairy Magic, one of the, the best spells in the game, if not the best spell in the game, uh, currently has as a reward an incredibly, uh, I don't want to say useless, but uh, nerfed usability of the spell. So, uh, unfortunate, but yeah. Blue Fairy Magic no longer worth uh, the struggle that Tower 5 actually requires. Uh, it's great. I'm sure it matters uh, against other spells, but as far as fighting against teams that do these kind of things, uh, or it's not really doing too well. And the last, of course, I'm going to move a little bit, Peanut Pummel. Peanut Pummel now only applies blind to the primary target. Uh, great. Peanut Pummel is now worse than Sally's special. So one of the previously pretty good spells in the game that because of a rework that made blind do 50% became one of the best uh, punch up spells in the game has now become, I don't want to say useless again, but uh, I'm not going to use it anymore. So all of the amount of time I've been spending buying peanut pummel from the store uh, is wasted. That's it. Getting a level 2 or 3 peanut pummel was just a waste of time. I'm never going to get that back. That's resources that I spent working on a spell that I thought was going to be really good that then changed. So, here's the over-under on it. And in general, I do try to look at the bright side of a lot of things. Um, but there was a cost involved to every single player, whether it was monetary, whether they were willing to spend money, or whether it was opportunity in that they chose uh, a free-to-play or a very casual or light spender, chose to spend their time farming for very specific things. You've made changes that uh, not only affect how the player's current game state works, but how the previous uh, expenditure uh, was relevant, and that's bad. I'm sorry. This is this is a big strike against you, Glue. Uh, I wish I could give you better news. I wish I could say something strong. I wish I could say this is a positive thing. Uh, and yeah, the people who didn't have any of these spells uh, will probably experience it. But the people who did, this is a big L for them. They're not going to feel it. So please in the future, because... I don't think you're going to go back and undo any of this, but please in the future worry about releasing new things that uh, upset and shake, like for example maybe if the Incredibles team or if the Toy Story team were like good, um, if you release teams that are good on their own uh, then you wouldn't necessarily have to nerf the existing things in the game, or conversely uh, you can buff the existing things that, that are in the game, like characters like Gaston, Yzma, uh, and make them competitive in the same way that you technically did with uh, Elastigirl, uh, where she was basically useless, and then with her team, it became better. But I, I really, I have to caution you personally against nerfing um, even games that do nerf all the time, like hearthstone and league of legends uh, they often not only give a very large amount of headway and notification that they're happening but they additionally re refund quite a bit of currency or whatever it took to obtain these items hearthstone giving you dust back for the full value of the card if you aren't happy with it and uh, league of legends well league of legends gives you enough time and space to balance characters out that it ultimately didn't matter um, so I'm just no please and if you're a player like me uh, this might be a hit to a lot of people some of you guys might not care some of you guys might not be watching this video anymore because it stopped mattering to you and that's fine there are always going to be changes and upgrades but I think it's important that that everyone remembers that we're in global now this is a live game that hopefully 
uh, hundreds of thousands of people are playing um, and you can't be doing this kind of thing you can't be rebalancing spells because the meta is stale it's your responsibility to make the meta unstale um, not through changing what people have already worked on but by providing new and exciting opportunities for the meta to evolve at least that's just my opinion thank you guys so much for watching feel free to comment below and let me know how you feel about the changes whether they affected you whether they didn't um whether you don't like my face any of those are acceptable right now but uh have a good night have a great day i've been tony scongeli and i'll catch you later